Ah. Ow. What up, chum? So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. <laughs> Come along. Let's where are we see? going? That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. So what now? Put a shot in there. Uh, I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Shoot Just near the ranchers to the scare them off. Oh, no. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Uh -huh. Put another <laughs> shot in close. Those are up, boys. There you go. Whoa. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Uh -huh. Swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're paying. Uh, but we're paying. Go on now. Uh, Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Boy. Wait, hold up. Eighteen percent. Thought uh, we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Compromise us. Compromise it. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Leopold. Where have you been? Leopold. <laughs> Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have <laughs> left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, oh, I, guess. I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school <laughs> has some strange graduates. That it does. <laughs> to your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Uh uh. Get out here! Get out what here! What the now! hell? Who's that? Uh. You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Oh. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Uh oh. Get out here before I have these Are you men. Serious? Killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me. Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Leviticus Deal with this Cornwall. nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. 
What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? A preacher! Oh my gosh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, that gun sucks. Good to know. I know. I will leave you. <laughs> hurry, hurry, please. Oh, I'm working on it. Come on, put Strauss on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Oh, sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> I better get out of here. What do you say? Better flood that Master is as good as me. Got him. So we moving? Yeah. We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Jose. <coughs> you have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as you have. Micah like told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in. Why so can't I drink water correctly? No, don't do that. I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. <coughs> hey, Charles, come on. Uh, I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Someone on the ground there. What the heck is that? He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. So probably best not to. Stay here, right? Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Oh, God. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. Shoot for the sake of it. Survive uh -huh. for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, <laughs> Charles, let's go take a look. Very interesting. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Do I go in here? Where do I go, bruh? <laughs> what? It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? <laughs> you don't mean no harm. Okay. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Oh. It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? 
took Man, off also. Last night. Where? Where did they I take him? I think he's the Ain't one no that's dead out there, right? I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Luther. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Uh-huh. Maybe. There he is. What's up? Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Okay, buddy, let's go. Oh crap. I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him. You get me. Why the hell you drag us in? Oh, I don't have ammo. It's Charles. Shoot him and loot him, boy. Who do you think? That all of them doesn't look like it. Got him. Who are these people in it? Oh, well, it's carrying them. With. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. For what? There they are. Im Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Don't ja, ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben! Well, now get out of here, this place like is safe! Mackenzie. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Famos. alles klar! Famos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie! Einen Moment! Uh, um, danke schön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Thanks a lot Dank. from the bottom of my heart. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. Wow. I'll be your personal bodyguard. As long as you keep paying me like that. <laughs> you were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Um, we're shaving that, bud. Complete chapter two. Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Who's in there? Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> Who's in there? How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Oh, is that our guy? Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. <laughs> he was accused of running a gold mine and investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... 
can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! Hey! The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come uh, on, big guy. Perhaps we on. can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. I'm Will trying. You relax? We're not losing them. Why is the train Master, going so fast? On. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Arthur Callahan, Callahan, please. Callahan. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellers wanting for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Look at you two fellas all cuddled up. <laughs> what? Oh. Idiot. Oh. Now get after the others. Come on. Did it kill the him? Did it kill him? To go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Because you ride like my grandmother. Ow. You are something else. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Oh, crap. Damn you. Let go. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Come here, you little. Go. Come here, come here. Ain't gonna help. I was about to jump that other one. Come on, shit bag. Come on, Mr. Callahan. I'm relying on you. Hey, I don't want to hear it. Bastard. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. Gonna be dead soon, partner. This is it. Stay on him. Let me stop the train. It's just What's up? Law, man. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't huh. do that. Come here. Need some shit? Come on. Ah. Ow. Sadly so. As it might be, do not kill him. Come on. Come on. Watch your faces. Ow. Dang. Who's talking now, huh? Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. How do I get out of here? <gasps> Dang, if he didn't cut me good. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Uh, what did... I don't work for you. Come on, <laughs> partner, before he wakes up. Carry him over then. I hey, don't fellas. work for you. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you, Arthur, would dead. deliver... Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly McIntosh. good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. 
I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, mm -hmm. these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you what? enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind a the church. Caravan. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole He's town got an is interesting voice. In this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old Grays plantation and houses. And falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month mm -hmm. to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you. Gentlemen. I couldn't not tell you. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. This looks... this place looks sick. Sorta. Of. What do you want? This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. Uh-huh. All right. Have a word, but I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Okay. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Yeah, wh my... what are you talking about? The thing <laughs> is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to oh be my complicated. gosh. This is like some. She's a Braithwaite. Romeo I'm Bo and Gray, and stuff. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she. She's amazing. She's. Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry <laughs> for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that <laughs> case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay there. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Oh. This one ain't supposed to be here. You don't see me. You think their fence is up for fun? Get off their property now. Okay. And don't come back. Okay. Sneak past the freaking guards. What in the crap? Oh my gosh. Are 
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. How about Bo's get out different. of this stupid But if they area. find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Ohio, Have you yeah. ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they uh. tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Mm, yeah. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. Hmm. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. Yeah. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Oh my gosh, I gotta go back. <laughs> Leave the area without being seen. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure, but it'll cost you. Haha. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Mm -hmm. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. What but the they're gonna... heck? They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you got to help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on, we better get going. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? What do you mean? Fight this marble. We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements mostly my family penelope i beg you i'll tell you what your friend here can drive the wagon for us it'll allow us to shout all the louder Hooray! sure, sure. <laughs> Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon well olive calhoun Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest <laughs> march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Or shall we go? All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we view the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Okay. Come on, come on. Talk to sir. Go home. Shut your mouth. What is going on? Shut up, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 
is a great day for all of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is, is Trevor unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Is it Trevor? <laughs> Equal and free, just as the founding fathers Trevor's intended. Trevor's great great grandfather. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. You hey, silly old goat. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Hey. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. Okay. Learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got sir. anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? So oh, <laughs> who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Uh -huh. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Okay. We have money, but I don't. Is your family <laughs> very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a Artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. <sighs> oh, you made a joke. Mm. Oh, you I made really a love joke. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I mean. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. How much you pay me? Just out of curiosity. Okay. Guess that's about right. Hold on there. A minute of your time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Round here, strangers got a cough up payment. Okay. That ain't happening. Get down from there. How's that? Pearson. I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. Evening, no. Arthur. I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah. They left the ladies in port. Good evening, Arthur. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. What's Depend going on? on the ladies. Hey, yo. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, yo. Come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a Hey, hey, yo. What's wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. This will work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn Dang. crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. <sighs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. Oh, yeah. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. 
Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <laughs> Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Kelly Days. Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Mm -hmm. Oh. Robin and killing's okay, but a where we draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> this lady is sort of annoying, though. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Uh, <laughs> that's Before pretty... Y'all are messed up. I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Stop. You ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. More. We got work to do. <laughs> Here we are. So, what's Maybe I'll watch someone play it. Shopkeeper, will you? No, you what the crap are you doing? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not, Not idiots. Yeah. We rob fools Put your gun away. People. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. But no guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. <laughs> oh, where's it? New Hanover. Some damned heathen had the impudence to assault the lady on her way into the parlor house the other day. Slow me down. <laughs> I burnt poles with more strength than you. Help! My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. What is wrong? What am I doing? What are we doing? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like sex. <laughs> Not lady. Lady. I don't know. So, Sadie Adler. Is that her name? I Adler? So. Sadie and Adler. Some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear whatever <sighs> I want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt Doesn't sound that. like it. <laughs> you sure look the part now. Yeah. It won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing a <laughs> harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Oh god. Well, my house and everything I own got burned okay. to the Okay. Ain't gotta go I there. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. This You're doesn't seem good. Country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. Exactly. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? 
Dang. What do you mean? Go, go, go. Where? Where? What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Your hair pants and think you're landing rickets. Oh shit. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Oh my gosh. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your way. Okay there, Satan. Of course. You think I can't handle these fools? There, see? Not many still standing yeah, now. You're right, you goddamn coward. I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drive us back. Hey. Yeah. Are you coming then? I'm working on it. No, pass those rings here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. Yeah. She was clearly planning to bushwhack us. I know, she would definitely want to kill Pearson if I wasn't there. Near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't uh -huh. dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for Shut myself. Up. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. Uh -huh. I just want to peek in that journal here. <laughs> That is cool, Arthur. That's a journal. Then, Miss Adler. Not Miss Adler. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping. Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so that's going to be... I hear ya. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you did like it, le leave a like and subscribe down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's move!